Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Asim, and uh, today we are going to uh, discuss how to predict the stock price for tomorrow. And I am going to use Arima. So I am going to use the Arima framework, uh, Arima model to try to predict the stock price for tomorrow. So let's start. So we'll need some libraries. Um, first thing is you'll need to uh, pip install uh, Yahoo Finance because we'll be getting data from Yahoo Finance. In case you have not done that, so all you have to do is pip install Y Finance. Um, I've already made a separate video on how to use Yahoo Finance, so you can probably see that. Um, the other thing that we'll need is pandas. Then I'll need numpy. I'll use the matplotlib for showing the plots the Yahoo Finance that we just spoke about and then we'll need some stats models as well because I will be using the ACF and PACF to figure out if we can find some good uh, parameters for our Arima model. And then we'll need the Arima model itself. So we'll be uh, importing that. And then I think we'll just import time. Import date time and import warnings. And let's just ignore all the warnings for now okay i think we are good to go let's just test it out yeah so should be fine now um so the first thing is we'll we are going to get import the data so let's say we use tcs so the ticker symbol is tcs dot NS. So when you're getting it from um, Yahoo Finance, you have to put dot NS at the end. Data is equal to wire dot ticker and then ticker symbol data. Let's see if this is fine. Yeah. And let's try to get the data now. So we'll put the end date as date time dot date dot today. So this is, we are, let's say we, if we are, if we want to predict for tomorrow so today will be the last date that you want to get the data for and the starting date we can probably take for um, two years so i'll be using the delta function the time delta function so basically what we are saying is we want to two years prior data and the tomorrow so basically what we want to predict is end date plus the the time delta function okay and let's get the prices now so we're getting the historical prices so for that you have to do data dot history start is equal to start date and end is equal to end end date and we want the closing prices so dot close let's print out the prices to see if everything is fine so we've got all the prices we've got we've got all the prices and we've got it till 27th we've got it till 27th and let's see if we are able to predict it for tomorrow which is a 28th um, i am making this video as of 28th so we'll also be able to check whether it actually uh, works or not um, let's calculate the returns now so returns is equal to prices dot percentage change and we'll drop any NA because the first uh, row will be an NA. So let's just remove that. So we've got that. And as you can see, the initial length was 496. Now it's 495 because the first row uh, will get dropped. And now let's quickly show the plot. So we'll let's, let's plot the stock prices. So PLT dot figure. Fig size equal to 10 comma 4 and we are plotting the 
spices here and just label them. So we have closing prices on the y axis and we have the date on the x axis. Let's also, um, all right, let's just plot this, should be fine. So this is how the plot looks like and this is for TCS for last couple of years. Let's do similar plot for returns. So I'm not going to plot the returns for the last two years. So let me just copy this here. And all I need to do is change it to returns date. And instead of prices, we'll be putting returns here. Let's run it. So as you can see, we've got the returns also. Um, let's label it. I think I did not label, let's label it also. So plt.label stock prices. Um, what did I do? Okay, not label title. plt.title stock prices. And similarly, we'll be getting the name here, which is the returns of TCS. Got so we have we've got this. So now let's try to see if we can find the correct hyperparameters of Arima. To do that, we will be using the ACF and the PSCF, which we have included here. So to do that, what you have to do is we are plotting. We are plotting the ACF and PACF. Basically, ACF is used for MA and the other one is used for AR. So, ACF is used for MA and the PACF is used for AR. So, let's do it. Plot ACF and we'll put the returns here. Let's print it out. And this is how you can see the ACF looks like. Now, what does ACF mean is we are trying to find which parameter um, is significant. And for that, we want these vertical lines. We want the vertical lines to be outside of this band here. As you can see, the initial vertical lines are not outside the band. It's only the eighth or ninth, which is outside the band. So this means that it's not that significant. But anyway, I can we can take um, so we, we, we cannot uh, predict anything from ACF basically. Let's do something similar for um, PACF. So for that I'm going to do plot PACF and returns and we'll have to put we'll have to put the method. So in this I'm going to put the w, w, uh, YWM different method that you can try out with and let's try to see the PACF now. And similar to ACF, you can see that even the PACF, there is no significant vertical lines coming out of the band in the beginning. So that means we cannot really predict out the right order or the right uh, parameter. So we'll just put a random um, hyperparameter to build a model. So now what we're doing is we are building the model. We are building the model of Arima. And for this, we are putting two years of data. So for that, all you have to do is model is equal to Arima and we are putting the prices here and then order is equal to 7, 0, 6. So it's a random, I've just put a random order here. If we would have got something substantial from, from here, we would have given the right order. Um, how does this work? You can go through my other videos on Arima where we have done backtesting also or how to find the perfect um, parameter um, using Arima auto auto Arima. So we have uh, separate videos for that. You can go through that. But right now in, in this video, I just want to show you how do we actually try to predict tomorrow's price model dot fit. And let's print out the fitted summary. So once you print this out, you will get the complete summary of how the how the Arima model has been built. So this is what it has done. It has got the sample size of 496 and it is trying to figure out if we have the 
uh, the Leung box again all these show whether we should go for this parameter or not um, the Jacker Babra number and all those things um, generally if the p value is more than 0 0.05 we will not go for it so that's how this is built on and as you can see the um, right now it doesn't look like a great model we'll have to find the correct parameters but uh, let's let's anyway try to figure out what is the next day price so this is where we are predicting the next day price so next day price um, actually it can it can not only predict next day price it can predict for the next 100 days also so let's 100 and we I'll put alpha is equal to 0 0.05. That means it has 95% confidence level um, of uh, tomorrow's predicted price. And it is printing 100. It is going to find 100 prices. So next 100 days of prices with a 95 um, confidence level. So let's print it out. Let's see this. So what it has done, it, is, it has actually try to predict the next 10 days or oh, sorry next 100 days of uh, prices with a 95% prediction level so the actual predicted price for tomorrow is next day price dot values and zeroth so let's see so predicted price 3127 so let's make it a little cleaner print the predicted price for tomorrow Okay, I think this should work. Let's print it out. So yeah, it is trying to predict the price for tomorrow and it has predicted, predicted, predicted 3127. But please note this is actually for today because the market has closed right now. So I'm making the video at 4, 4 o'clock, right? So because of that, we can see that the actual data it is getting is still 27th. So this prediction, this prediction is 3127 is for actually today, 3128. So what I've done is I've actually opened TCS as well. So let me open TCS here to see what is the actual price that it closed at. And it closed at 3117. Closed at 3117 and our prediction as per this was 3127. So not that bad, not that bad. As you can see, it the last data it had was for 3122, which I believe is is this so on the 27th close was 3122 and today it's 3117 what arima was able to predict was about 3127 so this is how you can use arima to predict um, tomorrow's price or in fact next uh, 100 days or 1000 days of price and these are the prices that it predicts for a confidence level of 95 percent you can use this in different strategies so for example if you feel that in the next 30 days arima is going uh, between certain range we can even do option selling basically do a strangle short selling things like that so it's not just predicting about the tomorrow um, it's also about getting a range and once we have the range from uh, arima we can go for different strategies so i hope you like the video um, do subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you